placing and formatting text in Adobe InDesign. Hi there. In this tutorial, we'll see how to write text in Adobe InDesign and different ways to use them as knowing the use of text in designing brochure, magazines, or any other publishing is vital. As you can see, we have the InDesign application open up here. First, we'll go to File and then Place. Select any Word file before we select Open. We need to make sure all these options here are unchecked. Click Open. As you can see, the text is with the cursor points. Now dragging it until the other corner of the page will have the text placed on the page. If you notice here, there is a plus sign which means there are some more text waiting to be placed as well. So it requires more than one page. From the page option, we'll create more blank pages. Now if you go click on the plus here, it shows the remaining text and if we drag it to the next page, same way we did on the first page, selecting the area of the text, the text will be placed on this page as well. Now again, you see plus sign which means there are still more text waiting to be placed from the word file we opened. Let's create more pages and similarly drag and place them to the next pages. Now as you see, it's not showing the plus sign anymore, which means there is no more text left. Now selecting the heading of the text, we can align from here just like word document. Also you can justify from here. You can change the font size from here. Also the font style you can choose from here. Similarly, you can do bold italic or bold italic the text from here. Now let's delete all the pages as you don't need them now. Now let's take another layer and place in some text in this layer on this page. We can insert some text from the saved templates or we can copy from other documents and paste it here. Or we can type in the required text. Now for this layer, column sizes are not pre-decided. We just dragged and did it. We could also decide the column size. Let's get rid of these columns by selecting and deleting them. Delete button of the keyboard. Now let's go to layout and then margins and columns. You have a dialog box here. Now under the column options here, you can choose how many columns you want on this page. As the preview option checked in here, you can see behind what's happening. Click OK. Now you see three same sized columns have been created to type text in. Now let's paste the copied text on each column by pressing Ctrl V. Obviously, you can do the justifications. Now you see all the texts are nicely placed on the columns. So this is how you can place text for different designs of magazines, banners or brochures with Adobe InDesign CS6. Thank you.